and the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God, na-excite naman ako bigla. How about a big round of applause? Award-winning director, Miss Maria Diane Ventura. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Kung alam lang nila, ang tagal na natin nag-uusap, siguro nakaka-isang oras at kalahati na tayong nag-uusap. Oo nga. Baka diba? more. Oo. More. Mm-hmm. Sorry guys, medyo off the record lahat yon. Pero mm-hmm. marami tayong on the record because the reason why we really are excited to have you, I have a daughter. Yeah. And she's six years old. Mm-hmm. And this is the perfect time to actually just let everybody's daughter do whatever they want. Yeah. And follow their dreams. Yeah. Diba? Mga mm-hmm. panahon ng mga nanay natin, hindi. Mag-aasawa ka, ganyan-ganyan. Sana makita ka ng taong. But you are one of those women who are inspirational. Wow. And your journey wasn't easy. Ang ganda no. ng gito. I like it. <laughs> Kasi totoo eh, diba? Mm. Na your, I mean, it, it doesn't show, but your battle scarred. You've been through tough times. And yet, here you are. Yeah, we'll talk about your movie in a bit. I mean, 22 awards and counting. Thank you. Yeah. Diba? And it's good to have you here. But let's start from the beginning. Mm-hmm. What made you do what you did and what brought you to where you are now? Wow. Medyo loaded question. But thank you so much, first of all, for having me here. I'm really grateful for the invitation and for the warm introduction. Um, happy to be talking to you guys. Um, how did it all begin? Uh, I started out in music, you know. For, I think um started, I don't know, like... Um, high school. S- yeah, since I was in high school, you know, I was fortunate enough to meet um, Ellie, you know, and, and... And the Ellie that we're talking about is Mr. Ellie Buendia. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, um, I met him and then we worked together and then I was able to kind of work in production and music. And then um, I think... Uh, I think it was a good start for production and like I wouldn't be where I am now without my experience in the music industry in the Philippines because it really, uh, you know, it really kind of helped me learn how to collaborate with artists, like very talented people. It learned, it, it made me, um, it, it, I just knew how to deal with, with yeah. artists because I was working with like the best of them. Yes. And um, yeah, so by the time that I had time again for myself, you know, because I focused, I dedicated my life in, at that time to, you know, the music industry. Pero siyempre, we got to a point where I, I could already kind of relax and um, things were, you know, running, on, you know, it kumbaga, was running on its own. Kumbaga may momentum you know, na. May momentum na. So I could like kind of oversee from afar. Then I decided to embark on, you know, like uh, this other adventure, which is filmmaking, which is not so different from the music industry, actually. Like I'm still working with, talented people and thanks to my experience y- yun nga uh, it, it's, it's easy to navigate na din so okay so ang ganda di ba loaded answer from a loaded question so ang dami natin napulot for an outline mm. so simulan natin sa una niyang sinabi mm. <laughs> game in the beginning you you met Ellie you were you were um, a girl with dreams and here is this in one of the most influential guys or artists of the of the 90s mm-hmm. and she seasoned ikaw bagito mm-hmm. but yet hindi mo tinanggap na greenhorn ka you you had the confidence maybe not the audacity but the confidence to actually move forward and take risks yeah and, i guess i never saw Ellie as like some i i don't see hierarchies right. you know so and also, actually, when I I was I come from a very sheltered. I was gonna say. Yeah, I come yeah. from a very sheltered environment. I lived in a bubble. We actually had hindi hindi masadong um hindi kami masadong open sa industry right. or sa entertainment Kaya industry. Kaya hindi mo nakikita yung perception ng. Yeah, sa, yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew of them, of course. Yes. Yeah, everybody knows of them. But when I met him, like I I never considered him like uh, different. Ooh, oh, I like yeah. That. So I always and 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 l- luckily also. That was kind of 
Um, I think he also comes from the same place that when we met, like we saw each other from the same, same, same yeah, parang same, you know. parang same level. You know, he never, you know, and that's how I see everyone also. Get so, um, I guess I was also lucky because he never saw the the, dif- the age difference or like the, the fact that I was still, you know, like uh, starting out. He he trusted my opinions from the. From the get go, and that's how I, I think that's how I was also able to establish myself because people saw the trust and people saw uh, people saw that. So it was recip- may, may may reciprocity. reciprocity. Yeah. yeah. So, bilanggit mo kanina, uh, you grew up in a bubble. Yeah. How big was the family bubble? <laughs> uh, we're 13 in the family, including my parents. Yeah. So 11 siblings. Yes, uh, 11, 11 kids. Yeah, yeah. You're one of 11. Yes. Pang ilan? Ninth. To the eldest, third to the youngest. How 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 did you compete? Did, was was there competition for attention? Yes, for sure. I was in love with my mother. She had like ten other kids to look after, and I always had to. F- I always felt like I needed to, um, you know, it, n- yeah, no. assert yeah, okay. or like you know prove myself. But you know, she never made us. F- you know, she she was she w- she was a workaholic. But I never felt like she had no time for. She always had time for us, even though she was working. So, um, but I think the competition came from me. Lang. Ah, she has to love me. <laughs> You know the most because I love her the most, so it, it was always like this. Uh, but I think like even coming from that kind of background where I had a lot of, you know, like there were a lot of members in the family that I had to learn how to deal or like to, with to connect oh. with siblings that are like different ages, different how old personalities. The Sorry, I'm excited about big. How was the eldest? How was the eldest? How, how old? How old? Um, she's I think 16, 17 years. You know. Older oh, than you. Older than so me. generation talaga. Oh, no? yeah. So, but, you know, yung influences ko then, like, you know, I knew music from, from, from right. different, you know, uh, fr- different genres, different periods, and also, yun nga, different personalities I was dealing with them. So it was, I guess, easy for me to, to navigate the industry, you know, dealing with different people because I was already kind of, you know, prepared for it. I met, kanina, I met one of your siblings, si Don. Shout out. I don't. And, and the family. Yeah. Is he younger than you? Older than you? O, younger. Younger. Younger yeah, than yeah. you. Younger. Wow. So, yeah. pag ilan siya? Pang 10th? 10th. Yeah. Tapos may dalawa. May isa pa. May isa pa. Oh, 11 nga, no? Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, growing up, and, and sa tingin mo ba, that, did this have a big impact on kahit nasa bubble kayo, madaling lumabas at madaling mag-navigate with people because you had those uh, steps you needed to to overcome to get to the CEO of the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I learned how to, no, I mean, I'm not going to say manipulate my way, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, you know how to, yes. to talk to people, you know, their triggers, you know, how to charm them. So I, I guess, ha, you know, I don't want to seem like a manipulative no, no, no. person. Though. Like, you know, it's it's always in the best interest of everyone. And not to say that I've always been like this either. It's just, you of know. Of course, it comes with age. It comes with age, yes. you know. Pero maganda yung sinabi mo, triggers. Yeah. Not everybody has the ability to determine where the triggers are, good or bad. Yeah. Would you say that innate sa'yo to, to the, uh, discern people's Triggers. Hmm. I think uh, easy. Parang it happens on an intuitive le- intuitive level. Eh. It's not premeditated. Like oh, this person. It's like sometimes you can feel energy. Yes. So you talk to them, and then you know, like maybe unknowingly, I immediately know their their energy or like what kind of person they are, and then you assume not assume, but like basically you calibrate based off of. Alam that. mo na tayong dalawa, mm-hmm. right? Na, oh, meron, oh nga. Diba, yeah, yeah. like we, hindi ko na nga maalala how or when, but yeah. we met and and through social media para may connection to mm-hmm. make it easy for us to communicate with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diba? May, yeah. may ganun eh. Mm-hmm. Nakakatuwa. So now, here you are, bigla kang sumubsub sa music. Nung time na yon, was music really the goal? What was your dream when you were a kid? I mean, um, I don't know. It was either business because, like, my parents were business. My People, my mom yeah. was a businesswoman. My dad yeah. was a businessman. 
Um, but I always loved filmmaking, and I I don't so want fi- to oh, okay filmmaking yeah. na talaga bata filmmaking okay. na bata pa. It was really my first love. Pero of course, like I love music. Actually, I think that I underestimate the role of music in my life because it's just always there. You know, you tend to. Yes. But yeah, it's uh, looking back. I think it's just it was just as important. But I didn't I didn't want to call it a goal because parang yun parang it, it just happened organically. Like I wasn't yeah. looking for it. You know it. I mean, it. I think it was Ellie that said, like, you know, the kind of work you do, you either, uh, you know, it either you either look for it or it looks it finds, it finds you. you. Oh. So I think with music, it found me. With film, Pinalap I yung yeah, ko siya. So yung 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 film bug. Were you were you one of those people? I have to ask, no. Were yeah. you one of those people who said, "I want to be behind the camera," or were you one of those people who said, "You know what? I'm gonna be in front of the camera first mm-hmm. and then behind the camera." Ah, I think, I mean, you know, like being an actor, it's such a fascinating job, you know, to like take, assume the, you know, as, assume different personalities. But I've always felt more comfortable behind the scene somehow. So from the get go, I knew I wanted to be, to, yeah, to maybe work. I work better behind the camera. Behind the camera. I don't think I would have that generosity of you know ex- you know being that expressive you know knowing my personality parang i, I prefer to keep private yeah okay yeah not that like not that the actors are not you know <laughs> not, not private people pero it i just you know okay so ngayon na nakakatuwa sa iyo there i don't know if you notice this but um i'll just call it out again me say for tayo banana banana <laughs> so banana <laughs> <laughs> Hindi pa nag-uubis ang banana okay. na. So, eto, meron kang, meron kang music career yeah. as a business partner of Eli Buendia. Yeah. Meron kang film career as a, as a multi-award winning director. You're a mom to a son who's equally as talented as both the parents. Yeah. And you love coffee. Yes. <laughs> Is there ever a time na nakaupo ka lang at sinasahin mo sa sarili mo, wow. <laughs> um, uh, I have a lot of time still. I still find a lot of time to, you know, be introspective. Pero I think I'm more wow in the fact that I ha- I've been so fortunate to be working with immensely talented people. Like I was going say, yes. And Eon, and like, yes. you know, but... Uh, and even luckier nga, and I always say to call them family, <laughs> but, you know. But so you and I think I'm just fortunate to be working with these people, and even with filmmaking, I guess you know my job as a director also is to kind of uh, make sure that everyone is you know giving their best to the project and like you know appreciating that talent. So I guess I am doing uh, my work if if like everyone else is doing. Their, their best, their yeah, best. Their, okay, their, their best, their best. Yeah. Their job. yeah, and so yeah, it's just I'm in awe of everyone, that every every artist that I've ever collaborated with. So later on, we'll talk about collaboration. But right now, yung introspectiveness ng ng career mo while talking to you, parang nagmamanif, parang na nagta nata transfer sa akin yung naging empathetic lang ako sa sa journey mo kaya na excited ako. But ngayon na realize ko sa music. It was all guts. Mm. You went to school for film, eh? Yeah. Pero let's start first with the music. Here is a newbie, pumasok sa industriya na hin- wala siyang idea, and you were able to navigate your way without really saying what can't be said, di ba? Mm. It wasn't handed to you. Eh? You had to fight for your place in the yeah. music industry. Mm-hmm. Can you share oh. yung, yung beginning no? nung pagsimula mo because how old were you? I think I was when I started yeah I Sa was music. fresh out of five, maybe 16 or yeah, 16 so, and yeah. so kakatoka sa pinto ng mga record executives yeah how do you demand time? <laughs> I think maybe I was at a point of desperation <laughs> at that time because I, I I had like a you know I had a family to provide for uh-huh. so that was my motivation it wasn't um, yeah, it was, you know, medyo on a gut level. Like, 
medyo gutsy siya. But actually, from my end at that time, also, I was working with someone that was a genius also. So, it wasn't... You know, I was basically, you know, like, on behalf of him. So, I had... That confidence came from who I represented also. And, you know, <laughs> yung desperation joke yan. Pero a little bit also because, of course, that had to that that was also part of it you had to want it talaga eh, yeah diba? i had to yeah i had to i had to i had to and and the reason why i'm asking and that was the you know major motivation kaya i didn't care about anything else like pride or whatever i just you know had to do it so i had no other choice that you, ooh na, sa, sana nadampot niyo yun guys ha yung i had no other choice kasi pag marami kang choices, minsan tatamarin ka na talaga to move forward. Ah, pwede naman to, pwede naman to, di ba? Mm. Pero yung sa'yo, yung, yung sinay mo, yung pride, tinanggal mo yon coming from a, let's, let's just say, coming from a, totoo naman, prominent family, and here you are rolling up your sleeves. Did you see your entrepreneurial skills put to the test? <laughs> um, entrepreneur, Um, Kasi business mo na yan eh. Like mm. handling Eli Buendia, that, that, that's the product, that's the brand. Yeah. And mm-hmm. now you have to run this business it's, which is called family, di ba? Yeah. I, I mean, I was also again lucky that my parents were, you know, kind of like I, I was learning from, from them, them, you know, how they, yeah, yeah, how they conducted themselves, how they operated and also my background of, of you know, being able to communicate with different kinds of people. I think that's what really helped me kind of Um, navigate this mi- business plus this like motivation to really be able to provide. I think all that 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 combined, you know, and also with the trust of uh, the artist, also it, it kind of really. Wow. Kaya ako nangangite at tandaan na sa isip ko. This is a 16 year old kid or a 17 year old kid trying to find her way in an industry na medyo cutthroat. Yeah, diba? it, it, yeah, it was. So now you were you're inching your way. You're moving up the ladder. What was the what was the social climate like? Did you find to ha- yourself to having less friends or more friends? Um, in the beginning, it was very challenging because you know of uh, you know I think everyone knows like what happened. So you know there were a lot of people that were against you know and there was I met. I was met with a lot of resistance. Pushbacks, mga ganyan. Yeah, yeah, mga pushbacks. Pero, like I said, like, I just didn't mind, you know, what the, the, the chatter and, uh, you know, just kept moving forward knowing that who I was representing was, you know, worth all that risk and also, like, you know, um, yeah, negotiated with that, negotiated my way with that kind of in mind. So, just, Ang galing! Yeah. Now, Decision making, yan. Other people are indecisive. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, sinabi mo, act of desperation, di na downplay natin yon. But during those moments, decisions have to be made. Yeah. Decisions that could change the course of your life. Hindi lang sa'yo, mm-hmm. pati kay Ion, pati kay Ellie, nung time yun. Kasi tatlo lang kayo talagang mm-hmm. nakadikit eh. And you had to make decisions sometimes on the fly. Mm-hmm. How do you make decisions? Because not, not everybody listening or watching mm-hmm. are able to commit to a decision. Yeah, I think it's it's also hard. But if the common goal is in the best interest of the family, so I think that makes things easy and so priority almost, talaga, no? almost instantaneously. Then yeah, of course I have to you know like what is best for the the, unit. the family oh. and and bigger picture then sometimes you have to see you know the the entirety of it and not just like that specific moment you know so just oh God, looking at it mo. from a bigger picture alam mo ba ako na na excited na tutuwa guys alam mo bakit dayan because mm. the way you the way you're describing stuff big picture lahat yan pre- precursor talaga sa pagiging director mo eh. because not everybody sees the big picture eh. and And just hearing it from you now, talagang, ang sarap eh. Para kang coach. Alam mo yun, nakikita mo yung, <laughs> yung buong playbook Mm-mm. and not just one specific play. Yeah. And, and talent yun eh. Yun ang nakakatuwa eh. <laughs> so now, eto na, di ba? Nakabuild na kayo ng momentum. 
pa, wa, wa, how, how easy was it for you to actually know it was time to let go of the music part of stuff and enter into film? Pag, bago mo sagutin yan, we'll be back after this word from our sponsor. Okay. And the podcast will resume. Talaga si Jill, talagang... Okay. Guys, uh, fill in your comments uh, para at least um, makita ni Miss Diane na nandito kayong lahat. Shout out nga pala kay Gerald De La Vega, Reggie Ray Achon, Bojianco, Rockin' Cherub, Jay hey, Boji. Kenneth, yeah, Bodgy's here. Jay Kenneth Akyatan, Michael Abad, Teddy Lim, Audrey Garcia, Janisho. Audrey! <laughs> Marvin Halili Rivera, Richard Del Rosario, Bev Vinoya, Joseph Bayan. Uh, si Audrey, si no Audrey, jet lag pa yan, kaya gising yeah. kasi lang ngayon. Yeah, 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 for sure. Glad you guys made it home safely. So here we go, Jay, they you ready? They did a great job. I know. Yeah, they did such a, an amazing job job here they did and the podcast will resume in five four three two 
one. Yon, and we're back. Diane? Oh my God, nakakatuwa to. Before the break, pinag-usapan natin. I'll be jumping back and forth. So, huwag kayong, yeah. huwag kayong ma, ano na, ah, nag-change topic na. Hindi, this is a conversation. So, hindi ko tuloy mainom yung kape ko on camera dahil uh, loko-loko tong, loko-loko tong si Jill. Sige na nga, inumin ko na nga. <laughs> Show. Show, ayan, hindi naman ginawa. My God, napaka-vain nung. <laughs> so, music, right? Tumatakbo na. Of course, pat on the back. Pero ito talaga yung passion eh. Ito talaga yung how. What was the conversation like between you and, and the Ellie? Na, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Um, hmm. I think by the time that I, you know, started filmmaking, I, of course, like, had to make sure that everything was already set up with them, that I didn't have to worry uh, if, you know, if something, you know. So I, I had to make sure that they were set, you know, before even thinking about, yes. uh, you know, uh, my own kind of um, um, passions. So... Um, we didn't really have to. I don't have, didn't have to ask for permission. And uh, although, of course, like I mentioned, and, and it was always, you know, very supportive. Yeah. You know, so and they've always been supportive from the so very na, start. Yeah. America na. Mm. Bye bye Philippines. So alam mong back to zero yung gagawin mo. Mm. You were ready for it. I think so, because um, it was also like I, I mentioned before. I also had to, you know, uh, fix Eon's papers. So you know, it, it was uh, it all was part of A bigger part plan. of yeah. It was all part of the bigger plan. Parang hitting so many birds with with one stone. So there were yun nga, Like I said, wala nang ibang choice. And I uh, how was work. it like migrating to the states? Um. It was, hmm. Isa set up ko lang ha. Mm-mm. And again, banana ang safe word natin. Mm-hmm. Ha. At a young age, you technically had to migrate in your own country because different, nag, nag-change lifestyle ke. Mm-hmm. Tapos, after what, 12 years? Biglang, was it 12 or 13 years bago ka nag-migrate? Yeah, yeah. So, so something like something this. Something like that, yeah. di ba? 15 years. Uh, 15 yeah, yeah. years, biglang change environment na naman. Which means back to zero na naman. Yeah, yeah. So, anong feeling ng pagdating mo? East Coast, West Coast? Where did you go? I went to the East. So, how did it... I mean, nobody's perfect. I'm no, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, anong feeling when, when you went to yeah. New York? Uh, I think it was, you know, you expect things to be different. Of course, like, you know, growing up, I, I was like, oh my God, New York, it's, you know, it's a place where I want to live eventually. And you think that once you move, you know, things are just going to be exciting. I'm not saying that it wasn't, but uh, he, he, reality hits you as well. So there's uh, the things that creep up on you, like loneliness, like feeling like you don't belong. Because you realize now, oh my God, I was born and raised in the Philippines. Like, I'm attached to that culture. Also, yes. I'm attached to my family. And now I'm in an entirely new kind of, parang new set of Was it the people. first time for you to actually be Technically, I'll use the quote alone because you're you're at, you're detached from family. Yeah, I think yes. That was the first time. That was the first time. That it was the first time I slept. You know, like it was in a house where it was just me. So um, it yeah, the mga pangs of loneliness and being away and questioning Totoo, who diba? you are, who questioning who, who you, you are, are exactly, like right. who am I without them or like. What, what am I going to do now? And who are these people surrounding me? And, you know, all these things. Like, And I think that's when I started also writing about Dinafar, you know. Yes. Yeah, Because it was, I felt like that expressing myself through writing was cathartic at that time. Because there was so much things going on in my head so that the, I had the, to the express ka. it. The no. journaling ko is trying to find, trying to identify with experiences of other people. Then I don't feel alone. So, you know, so I guess it was also through talking, uh, through like, you know, imagining my characters and what they were going through that was similar 
to what I was also so going through. So, character development. Oh, you, know? you were, <laughs> you were taking, oh, oh my God. Yeah, and then uh, sometimes I let my characters go through the brink of, you know, like things that I would not dare go to. I would let them go there para they experience it. So, yung mga characters yeah. mo, existentially speaking, buhay na sila sa isip mo pa lang. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the, they were born out of my own experiences yes. or thought processes. Yes. I mean, of course, still fictional and I'm not them. Right. But they're, you know, byproducts of... Okay. So, yeah. maganda yan. Now, so itong mga character, let's, let's uh, segue, konti lang muna mm-hmm. sa Dine Farbe. Mm-hmm. I, say it right? I said it right. Yeah, I said, said it, it right. Perfectly. So, ngayon, yung character development, there are two, are there two protagonists? There are two protagonists. Yeah. No? Mm-hmm. Nung dinevelop mo sila, and you're saying they are byproducts of what you were going through. Yeah, my. Papano mo dinevelop ang character? Did you have to write it down? Pati yung subtext nila? Did you have to put it on paper? Did you index card? What was. Um, yeah, I didn't index card. Maybe I should have, you know, it would have made it more organized. But what I did was sometimes. Y- there are moments where you can't write, you know. So sometimes there are days where I have to force myself. And those days actually are um, sometimes really the best because you r- sometimes you even surprise yourself. You're like, ah, oh, oh, this happens to them. Oh, I didn't see that happening. So sometimes may that ti- even may, happens. May time out ako, ha, mm-hmm. because... Um, sorry. Uh, when you say you have to force yourself, that is a parallel to the 16, 17-year-old girl who had to force herself to do certain things, not only to survive, but to thrive. Mm-hmm. And then, years now, dec- a decade plus li- and a half later, here you are again, doing it again. Yeah. Different genre. Okay, would you say that that's innately you? Is that your nature? Because that those are formulas for yeah. success, eh? Oh wow! <laughs> you having to to do it, not because you feel like doing it, but because you know you have to do it. Um, I think I mentioned this before in one interview. Like people think it's courage, some or confidence, but I was just going after what I was, what I felt compelled to go after. So powerful! Like, oh, it was so powerful okay. that it, it it ate up my logic. It ate up because eh, it's film, it's yeah. the entertainment industry. Why would you get into yes. it? Diba? It's like, I wasn't thinking money. I wasn't thinking, you know, like uh, sustainability. Of course, you know, I have to think that also we right. cannot be starving artists either. Right. But at that time, it was just, you know, some concepts and some stories were just, felt just so... Uh, powerful that it kind of takes over and even on those days where I have nothing to say I have to push myself to do it because I know something will come out of it if you if you really push I inspire ako <laughs> I inspire talaga ako dahil, dahil ang, ang nakikita ko ang common sa mga taong katulad nyo is consistency yung, yung may conviction to do the things they they have to do to push the, uh, the again, sinay mo kanina, keep moving forward. Alam mo ba, yun ang hashtag namin. Oh, cute. that's a beautiful hashtag. Keep, kaya when you said, parang, oh my God. Okay. So characters, writing, days that you don't want to write. Mm-hmm. Ito na pala ang start ng ano, ng Dine Farbe. And it wasn't supposed to be in German or was it really supposed to be in German? No, when I was writing it, like I said, I just felt compelled to write this story. Parang hinahash out ko yung mga, you know how sometimes there are conflicting ideologies that you have in your head. Like they're both like, you know, polar opposites. Uh, but then, you know, how do you reconcile conflicting um, ideas? So it was like a conversation between myself and between the characters. Yes. Parang naging meta siya, yes. diba? Oh my so, God! Yeah, so it, it, it was just, it was it was that it, it just it just had to be written so nire so ngayon sinusulat mo na so ngayon nung sinusulat mo may arc na ba siya or or tinatapon mo lang siya sa mix i think it's a combination of um premeditation and spontaneity like mm. 
somehow you already know the story before you even start. Yes. So you start, sometimes you already know the ending. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or or not, but meron na. It's like songwriting din, uh, di ba? Parang, parang meron lang siyang structure. Yes. Yes. And then you just have to fill in what fill in the gaps in between. And did, then that's where, yeah. Did you know it was gonna be a hit? No. No, I mean, I, sometimes I still don't think, you know. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I mean. You must have yourself deprecating you. You really, mm. after 22 and counting awards, you didn't even. I still think I'm just fortunate <laughs> and super but lucky. But also at the same time, I have my, uh, you know, the collaborators and the, the, the talent that was in this film was really great, yung dynamic of all the people uh, were it was so I have them to thank for also okay ito na so now meron ng meron ng idea may grasp sinulat na may script na ba at this time meron na no mm-hmm. okay it's something to have that there now it needs to be tangible yeah. kailangan ng may ipatupad mm-hmm. that's another hurdle yeah. because now you need funding yeah. now you need a team Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need people to believe in this thing that you already believe in. Yes, of so course. So it's the same thing all over again. Yeah. Diba? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. I was i- i-relate natin dun sa, sa ginawa mong success din sa Pilipinas. Because sa Pilipinas, you were, you, you're a kingmaker. <laughs> They were already kings to begin I with. I know, I understand. Mm. But then again... I just had to remind them, yeah. or no, but not, yes. not even remind. But I'm, I'm they already know. You say that, yeah. yeah. But yes, Diane. <laughs> 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 so, ito ngayon, this is, this is not an Eli Buendia project. There is mm. no brand. Mm-hmm. Ito lang ang different. Ito lang ang, This is pure you. You wanna mm. eh, because tulad niya na sinabi mo, you just mm. had to remind them that this is a king. Mm-hmm. These are characters in your head. Yeah. So, ang, and uh, wow, pag inisip ko ngayon, para pati ako napapat, napapatahimik eh, because what was going through your head? Uh, Dito na, okay, I have a product. Yeah. yeah. How do I bring this out, out into... To, the funny thing is, I actually forgot about it, you know. So, I wrote it and then I forgot about it. And then, uh, there was just a point in my life where parang, um, I just... You know, I was feeling very lost. There was a moment where I was feeling lost. And then I remembered I had a script. And, I, you know, I, I did a so film. So, nakatago lang to sa baul. Nakatago lang siya. Because this is not the only movie you've done, eh. Marami yeah. kang may mga ginawa mm, ka na, eh. Yeah. So, nakabaul lang to. Yeah. And then, parang, you know, I, I remembered it again. And that was at that point where I felt lost, where I also felt I had nothing to lose. So, I was like, I will make this film. And then... You know, everything I did after that, singular in purpose, Nana. This has to be done. And there was nothing that could have stopped me at that point because yung will ko was like, every day, I will do something to inch me closer to that goal. So I reached out to a friend of mine that I went to school with at NYU during taking up, you know, like the elective, one of the elective courses that I took up for film. And then she happened to not. Ano to? Wala lang talaga reach out lang na parang hey. Parang no, no, gano. we were hanging out, okay. but we weren't talking about film. Right. I just knew that she was working in right. films, so basta I just told her. And we worked in like student projects in the past, but now she was actually quite you know established wherever she was you know. Um, and then I said, "Are you doing anything?" And she was like, "No." It's like, how would you like to do this uh, project? And then. Uh, and then sh- uh, in the beginning, it was in English, so she, uh, you know, she naturally assumed that we were going to do it in English? America, uh, 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 in America, because it was in English. Correct. But somehow I was in Germany before, and there it made an impression on me. And then, parang uh, on an intuitive level, I had to go back to Germany somehow. And then I went back to you know, and 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 I, some, because the film is about. Uh, it's a coming of age film about what was your spoiler on uh, some sa time wala na, wala na, wala walang spoiler but okay. uh, the movie just the gist of it oh, like sige. um it's a coming of age film about two adolescents trying to break free from a predetermined uh, existence in a small town from germany and then moving to barcelona thinking that moving to a bigger you know uh place or you know like a city would mean like uh, 
a better kind of life, you know, and, and, and only realizing afterwards what they were trying to escape from was something that they found within them and that life was not as easy as it was presupposed, which was also somehow parallel to what I was going through when I moved to... And then when I picked up on it again and decided to do the film, I was like, okay, let's take it a step further. Let's do this in Germany. In a and different, that's another, that's in another, another risk. Yeah, in another culture, because already I spent my 10 years in in america so it was both uh, logical pra log not practical of course logical in the sense na you know let's push the boundaries let's push the experience and make myself go through it again by going to shoot it in another film and also at the same time i hindi was naman, thinking hindi naman <laughs> hindi naman, hindi naman, at the same time i was also thinking na you know if i do it in america i'll be competing against you know uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of other filmmakers. And I thought, like, if I established a name in Germany, for example, or, like, in, in another place and then come here, then later when I work here, people are going to be like, okay, she worked in right. uh, different, you know, places, you know. So, parang yung explanation sa DreamWorks. Oh, yun nga eh. That's what I was saying, that they, they want to make people, like, they want to establish them first in Asia and then in Europe, Europe and before bringing them to America. So, ah, now you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I was just <laughs> thinking about this. Pero also, at the same time, this was not super, like right. premeditated it was it also was happening on an organic intuitive level na parang let's go to germany and of course like my other friend i don't know she also had nothing to lose at that time because she was in between jobs and she was like yeah let's go for it it's like we don't know anyone from germany and Alam mo na, this is mm. another another ode to your 17 year old self no <laughs> again yung mga nothing to lose mo mm. yung uh, yung mga yung guts eh. and i hope i hope our listeners and viewers are picking up on this now. Mm. Sometimes you just have to go for it, eh, no? Yeah, because, you know, sometimes when you... I know it sounds cheesy and then they're going to think it's a law of attraction thing and it's no, not... I'm not no. preaching. Um, yun nga eh, from the very start, yung, when I say like, um, I don't see any difference between people, so I don't put them yeah, on a pedestal. pedestal. I, I'm like, okay, whenever I see... Whenever I see someone succeed, like I said, I mentioned it one time before, like I don't see them as an exception. I see them as a possibility. Parang if that person can do it, diba? I can. Ikaw rin. Sometimes oh, oh. Yung, mga, yung mga moments ko of introspection like before that, le that we were talking yeah. about, na parang in all, not of what I did, but like that, uh, yeah, you know, like, I, 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 well, I did it because anyone can. So parang, oh, if I can do it, anyone can. Wow. And I can also <laughs> yes. I can replicate that what kumbag, I just did. Kumbaga, mm. diba, parang sabi ko nga eh, let's say right now, um, I am feeding off your energy because everything you're saying is inspiring me. Thank you. And hopefully, when I succeed, it inspires you, yeah. mm -hmm. who by the way inspired me. So parang meta, pero naglulup. Na, yeah. But yun yun eh, yeah, yeah. And then you grow together as a community. Yeah, and that's what everyone, yeah. I want everyone to realize their potential is in everyone. Yes. You know, they just have to tap into it, sort of. Like, I am not special, I am not different. And that's where the real confidence comes from that I know that we. Pero, anyone, pero alam mo kung ano binitawan mo na mm. kailangan mo pick up nila, yung action word na sinabi mo, you just tapped into it. Mm. Kasi yun ang nakita kong ginawa mo simula nung bata ka hanggang siya punta ka ng Amerika pero Germany so pag-usapan natin yun <laughs> talagang ano, sino tong friend mo na to? <laughs> si Chloe Rice si, and thank you so si much Si Chloe Rice, okay nung Shout out mo, to you nung mm -hmm. oh, Shout out Nung sinabi mo na Germany tayo anong yeah. sabi niya? I think parang she she just went along with it. Yun nga, may trust din eh. Pero, parang, oh, oh. pero nung sinabi mo, hindi, ang, we'll, we'll use the vernacular. Yeah. Mag, mag aleman tayo. Oh, I guess, yung initial thought niya was like, why do we have to put ourselves <laughs> through that? Let's just make it here. Kasi itatranslate pa natin eh. Tapos, just, Actually, Do you speak? No. Deutsch? I mean, Deutsch. Uh, <laughs> ich kann. Ich kann. Nicht. Ang alam ko lang ich kann is uh, uh, Ich liebe dich. <laughs> Ayun. Dati napapakita ko mga ganun. I love you. <laughs> okay. So, pero do you know? No, I, I have. I, I mean, I had to learn. Conversational, you know, I can talk to, you know, like, to order food or to get a cab, you know. I, can, I can, especially when I first moved there, I knew nothing about... Tama ba yung translation ng 99 Loft Balloons? 
Oh. <laughs> Tama ba yung translation? Oh. Hindi? Ay, yung sa ano, yung, 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 yung sa song. song. I have to double check oh, that, okay? okay. Um, uh, but for sure, yeah. And then as German. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, may approval na, na yan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, okay. So, German. Uh, Pinalitan mo na yung, uh, oh my God, Deine Farbe. Which means your color. Your color. Yeah. So yeah. So I mean, when we were thinking about it, oh my God, we're going to make a film in Germany, and then we're going to do it in the next two months. You know, and our script is still in English. So at that time, I couldn't wrap my head around it. You know, and there was a part of me that's like, is that possible? Because everyone was thinking, is that possible? But then like. Parang, yeah, so is was, that possible? I mean, I was working on. A, sabi ko, I think we can. I feel we can. And then everyone involved was like, "Okay, we're all working based on <laughs> your feeling, you know, based on a feeling." But I, I think at the end of the day, yung conviction also. Sometimes when you really believe in it, you know, th- th- you you can you can okay. you can influence people. Yung script na basa ni Chloe to mm. in English, right? Yes. And it moved her, right? I, she she liked the idea of it. So now, kayong dalawa, you telling Chloe, we're gonna translate this. We're gonna have this translated in German. Yeah. Were you crossing your fingers na sana pagbalik sa inyo, ma-move ulit kayo? <laughs> um, I think the whole experience of even just making the film bo- moved us. Kumbaga, we were at the point, parang naging ano na nga, analogous din sa, or parallel din yung experience namin dun sa experience ng boys. Wow. Like coming of age yeah. din kami. We're feeling yes. lost. Yes. We moved to another country to try our luck. And then, you know, we, we both realized, oh shit, it's not so easy. But, you know, but we still, you know, we still kept doing it. Meta talaga eh. So, wow. we just, so and we did. She did. What know? was the first step? So she finally, did. okay, German, uh, Germany, yung script na translate na. And then what was the next step after that? Um, casting director. You know, we had to. Re- we reached out. Uh, of course, like limited oh. yung budget, independent. Eh. Um, we reached out to a couple of them, and then there was one. I think our story resonated with her, and uh, yeah, she she was basic. She helped us a lot. Uh, even the person that translated the script. The only person we knew from Germany was uh, was uh, Andrew, and uh, she, she he was a sound engineer also for film and. Um, Chloe worked with him with Andrew, before, yeah. and then he, she was like saying, "Like, do you know anyone, you know, in, in in the industry, like that who?" And then he was like, "Okay, first of all, you have to translate this." And then he <sighs> referred us to his friend, and and then we submitted uh, the script to to her. And when she accepted it, and she's oh, she is actually an, an established filmmaker in Germany. Uh, her name's Hella Wenders, and. Yeah, she took on the project. She said, wow. "Okay, I want to do this." And she had like she, she 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 was she had cloud. I mean, not she was established, you know. She was respected and for her to have said yes to the project that gave us confidence also. Yes. So, you know, we went to the casting director. She already knew who Hela was and then So si Hela na green light ng project. Um, no. hindi naman na green light pero she decided to get on board. The, the, nice. It, and, and, and it was Chloe and I that decided okay. f- to green light the project okay. by okay. doing it. So, now, adyan na, Hela, Chloe, you, Andrew, sino yung casting director? Anna, Anna. Anna Davila. And she's also respected in her, fi- and she was the one that said yes even with our, you know, like limited budget. Kasi nga, she was like, she read, she's also a w- woman, like an immigrant that had to fight her way, you know, and she saw us also struggling. Yes. She was like, I like you guys, you know, <laughs> you have guts. I, I can see myself in you. So she was like, I will help you. And she gave us, uh, you know, it, she, she connected us with like the best um, talents in Germany. And so si Anna ang nag-pitch sa mga actors to audition actually. Yeah, she p- but she pitched it well for yeah. established actors to actually even audition. Galing, you know? no? So some of the people that we met, they didn't have to audition. Talagang you know? yun na yun. This part oh. is meant for you. Parang ganun na yung dating. Um, parang, you know, I mean, they had like actually big uh, studios offering them projects and they auditioned dun sa project wow. na, which was so sm- which was so small comparatively, but you know, Anna really sold it. Like this story is, you know, like you should. So yeah. now, here you are, okay, okay, ready. Day one. What was like? What was it like? First shooting day. Ah, first shooting day. Before you 
Go there, si JJ Sumisterios. Commercial break muna okay. tayo. Sabi ni Levan, your mic is on, ah. So, pa-shout out daw kay Direk Dayan. Ayun. Hi, Levan. Tapos si Boji. Hi, Hi boss. Hi, Boj. boss. Musta? Sabi ni Rock and Chara, how was it like for Miss Dayan being Ellie's manager at the same time ex-partner? We always hear of stage parents, but their setup is quite rare. Not so rare. Oo nga, no? not so rare kasi dalawa tayong ganun yung setup eh, no? Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Teddy Lim. I feel like Christine is a semi-autobiographical character in Dine Farbe. Sabi ni Teddy, what do you say to that? Semi-autobiography. Christine? Oh, yeah. Who is, which one is Christine? Sabi ni ni. The actress, because we have a Christine or the character. Christine. Ah, the character. Um, Is Christine semi you? No. No. I I res. It's more the boys that. <laughs> you yeah. resonate with, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good question. Sabi naman ni Sheila Timbal. Wala si nabi si Sheila. Uh, ang ganda na si Ani Teddy. It's a story whose time has come, di ba? Galeng. Sabi ni Marvin Halili Rivera from Portland. Hi, Miss Diane. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. All right. Galing. Galing, galing, galing. Okay, ready? Nice. And the podcast will resume in five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. Direct. Ayan na, direct na, di ba? Ito na. First shooting day. First shooting day. On a limited budget. Mm-hmm. A language barrier. May translator kayo on set? Um, at that time, I think wala. Yeah. <gasps> but we had like a two-week rehearsal with the actors and which is why we knew kind of, you know, and I wrote the script, so kind of. Pero you wrote the script in English. I know, I know. At first, I thought it was going to be like a you know, it was going to be difficult. But in the end, it actually helped me focus more on the... Because hey, sometimes when you write a script, you get so attached to the words. You're, it it ah. becomes your baby. You verbatim and stuff. But since, you know, I mean, obviously, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not fluent in the in vernacular. I had to focus on their acting and Correct. kind of... Um, uh, yeah, focus on their chemistry, which is actually more important than the words. If Hindi you think ko about pala it. Yun, yung yeah. chemistry. What did you feel nung ina- inayos ni Anna yung casting? Naramdaman mo yung chemistry ng mga actors mo kagad? Um, did act- they come alive? Yun nga eh. Actually, during the audition uh, process, we not only auditioned indi- individually, we also, we also, you know, paired them oh. off. Kasi this movie banked on a friendship of two men and this had to be genuine. This right. could not be, you know, so we also had to find two people who we saw na parang, no, click. Oh, oh, na parang, it f- and, and we found that. Actually, um, yeah, I was really happy about that edition and it made me realize so many things because I had like a set person in my head about Correct. who my character, while I was writing, you have like a set uh, person in your head or like, you know. Um, did, it, did it closely resemble the person in your head? Actually, for Carl, uh-huh. for Carl's character, there there was one person that came in, and Yannick came in, and he was very different from the Carl that I imagined on set. He brought, but he brought about uh, like a sensitivity to the character that I never actually pictured. And you were okay with that? No, he changed my mind. So Galing, it made me no. realize na parang someone <laughs> can change your mind with their performance. So you also have to keep an open mind and, you know, like, be be present and not be so yes. attached to certain... Yung tipong stuck up ka dun sa... Mm, certain, certain decisions you make even before it happens. So, I try to uh, keep a balance 
sa ganun. And yeah, first day, sorry, I digress. No, 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 no. that's yeah, fine, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Kasi pati ako na-excited, okay, may rehearsal, may character development, and then finally, andito na yung mga characters. Para kang bumili ng, ano, ng gear online, di ba? Makikita mo yung gitara, tapos pag uh-huh. nakuha mo, wow, ito yun. Yeah. Okay. It is sacred. Like the shooting days, it is like, you know, and it's also the most uh, rewarding part of filmmaking when you see ev- when you see things come to to yes. life like on that day when you when you shoot it and yeah it's it, it's always still like uh it, it, it makes me happy you know d- during set <laughs> yeah yeah set na how many days ang shooting it was two weeks and, and it was in two countries it was in germany and, and in spain uh-huh. yeah so yun nga eh, I, uh, me, chloe and i have that have this theory that because of course, yung mga actors ko, they are very established in in Europe. So I, I think that part of you know the reason why they joined like a small film like ours is out of curiosity. They're like, you're making a film in two countries in like two weeks and with two months pre production. Is this really going to happen? Can you pull this off? So curiosity <laughs> lang talaga. Eh. Which which could, which worked in your favor? <laughs> yeah, by yeah, the which way, worked yeah. in my favor. So so okay. So now, logistics. Sino nag-isip ng logistics? Si Chloe or ikaw? Or si Hela? Or sino? I think it was both Chloe and I. But of course, like, I give her all the, you know, props because she really, you know, um, we found the right people to um, to kind of help. We found, like, a great line producer in in Germany that, like, was really able to help us with logistics. And then... Uh, some movie. Well, I don't want to ruin it for uh-huh. those that haven't seen it because sometimes when you know about like the making of, it's like when you watch it, yeah. they 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 you know, um, it takes away from their experience. But just a, a fascinating thing about the film is that the interiors were done in one house. Everything was in one house wow. except for the exteriors. Of course, we really had to go to Barcelona. So, may may yung set designer mo had to be creative enough yeah we rented like one house which had three floors and then the basement that was like the club scene but of course you don't see it and that was also like the uh the what do you call this where do you shoot guns oh uh, firing range oh the range also was also they had to you know and then um the second floor was the room uh, their room in barcelona the first uh, the, the, the the top floor was like the room in berlin so it it was it made things easy, especially for a two week um, oh, that shoot. Ilan, so mm. shooting days would be spent, interiors would be spent there. Yeah, diba? yeah. So Galing. we just moved floors to yeah. And that says a lot about creativity, eh? Dahil, di ba ang galeng, ang takeaway, ang dami kong takeaway sa yorito. Like ang takeaway is hindi excuse ang budget, eh. Mm, yeah. Gagawan mo talaga ng paraan, eh. You have to. Without sacrificing the creative process, by the way, yeah, and the quality. Yeah, yeah. Diba? So finally, tapos na ang, ano naman, ano ang difference ng first shooting day sa last shooting day? Um, I think dun sa last shooting day kasi we were all very comfortable uh, with each other. It felt like family already like like yeah. how we are tayo. here <laughs> diba pagka nag get together tayo parang it just yes. it doesn't feel like work anymore diba parang you know yeah. you become like instant friends yep. and that's how it felt like uh with us siguro nung first medyo may pagka stiff pa yeah. but by the time like we were already like vibrating on the same wavelength <laughs> by the end of it all you know when i yelled it's a rap because it was in the uh, beach the last uh, the last scene was at the beach and everyone, we didn't talk about it, we didn't plan it. I just yelled, it's a wrap and everyone started to drop everything they had and ran to the, the sea, <laughs> ran to the sea to swim, you know? And we didn't talk about it. We just looked at each other and then just like, it was so, it was. Ito ang hindi alam ng mga tao. So it's a wrap, lahat excited, takbuhan, ganyan, ganyan. Si Derek, of course, tatakbo sa una, but then again, once the wrap happens, the end of one process is the beginning of the next yes, process. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is the lonely part of filming. Oh, it's, a, it's a happy part, but a lonely part also because now it's all on you and your editor. Yeah. Be editor ka, but yeah. that's all you now. Diba? This is where your decisiveness comes into play. Mm, yeah. and, and, and every film you make actually is a culmination of your, your upbringing. Kung what falls on the cutting room floor or yeah. what stays 
sa, sa film and all that. Was it hard? Yeah, I think it's al- always one of the most difficult parts of because you fall in love with your scenes, with yep. with everything, and then you have to say goodbye to it. And that's why I understand when they say killing your babies. You know, it's like, ah, okay, yeah, you yeah, gotta kill your baby. Someone said that, you know, to me, editing. And I'm like, what do you mean by that? And then, you know, I was on the cutting floor, and I was like, I cannot watch this, you know. <laughs> I cannot watch you, like, just edit that out, the, what we shot for two days, you know, and just remove it. Pero all for the bigger... Uh, you know, bigger for the picture bigger again. picture again, it's like, okay, what, what you know. Hindi mo ditong pinag-uusapan rin, like, analyzing yun, di ba, parang yeah. gano'n, you know? Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, um, it was just so difficult and I think, yun nga eh, what I learned, my takeaway from from this project was like, I I really have to, you know, let go more and let a few days or months even pass before I go back to the editing room. Kasi, right, when you go uh, edit right after you shoot the film. You're still so in love with yes. it, so you need some sort of detachment yes. before you get back on the cut, so that you feel, you know, less um, devastated when you have to say goodbye to the things that don't contribute to the overall picture. Did you work with an editor? Yes. Was yeah. he supportive of the decisions that you made? Or would he suggest also? I think we were having arguments almost. Because, siempre he is an editor, so he's also a storyteller. Yes. So it, it, there was like a clash of, you know, and then you always have to kind of find the balance. Like at what point do, you know, at what point is this not my voice anymore? It's not my movie anymore, you know. But at the same time, you also have to balance it with giving him enough trust to know that, you know what his suggestions are is also for in the best interest of that in the best of interest in that project and i'm still having this uh, issue kind of <laughs> reconciling both yeah ano ko ba tawag na nakangiti because yeah. bago kay bago magsimula yung project chloe had to trust you yeah yeah ayun yeah post production ikaw na man ang Oh yeah, 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 and I, and I think I still am pretty, you know, attached to the script. So that's what I had such a hard time letting go of, you know, like that we had to follow the original script because, of course, sometimes it takes yeah, on it's a your life story. of its own. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's still that, and up to this day, I still even don't know if the final cut is what would have been. Is that the reason? The, is that the reason other directors have a director's cut? Probably, yeah. So they could keep their, you know. Wor- I mean, of course, I'm not comparing myself to to them, um, but yeah, and um, yeah. Tama pag nakikita ko hindi isip mo para oh my god, adabing mong babies na pinatay and all that. So now, eto na yung produkto. First screening, so private yon. Kayo kayo lang mo na yon, di ba? Did you invite the actors to to watch it? No. I think yeah. I think yung yung official. Screening. Pero yeah. kayo, noong una, sino ba una? Kayo lang muna ni na Chloe ang ano? Yeah, oo. Just the two of you, kasama si na Hela, kasama si na Ana, kasama no, si No, kami lang, Andrew. I think kami lang muna ni ni Chloe and the editor. Uh-oh. Who scored? The, who music? Oh, I made sure that like, uh, German artists, there was an American artist, and I also made sure na may Filipino artists on okay. board. Yeah. So now, eto na, pinapanood nyo na yung movie. Mm-hmm. How did it resonate with you? Knowing full well, it's not in your vernacular. Uh, it's in a different language. Yeah. Tapos, this is not your first film, but for some reason, ito pala yung, ito pala yung mag, magpapagreen light na, oh, everybody, look at Diane. Ito yung, <laughs> what was going through your head nung pinanood mo na to for the first time? For the first time, there was still a lot of like, um, excitement and innocence I would say like I didn't really think about like the technical aspects of things I was just like in awe like oh my god we finished the project I'm so proud of myself <laughs> that, that's it I'm so proud of us that we actually even you know saw this through the end so that was my first thought but of course going you know Chloe Konyare, like she bihasana yan sa, sa film, film industry yeah. so what she saw 
uh, were mistakes and not really, you know, it's, right. uh, you know. Kumbaga siya, parang, ah, okay, okay, yes, we ito did. Ito dapat yeah. pwede mong ayusin ito na ganyan, yeah. ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And no? then, we took on that approach. So every time we would watch the film in the editing room, we would find mistakes. And it was so, it's so difficult also to assume this kind of like, you yeah. know, perspective. Kasi that biluks, you, yes, kasi mm. biluksan mo yung reticular. Once, once nakabukas na yun, once pinoint out na ni Chloe sa yun, tuwing dadaan doon, nakikita mo na mm, eh. Mm, mm. Tsaka tuloy-tuloy na yan, like, okay, what are the mistakes that we could fix? Right. So, it was not appreciating anymore. <laughs> it was more like criticizing your own work. And then, then it gets to a point. And I'm sure, like, you know, I was talking to Audrey before that it's the same yeah. with, with music. music. When, you, yes. when you master it and you listen to yes. it over and over, there comes a point where, like, I cannot watch this anymore. Mm. I hate this. Diba? Tapos, yeah. when is enough enough? Diba? Parang, yeah, yeah. Oh, parang and so, like, I also read somewhere, I don't know if, if I'm quoting right, yung, or if, if it's even the right person, like David Fincher said, like, I, the movie is, a movie is never finished. You just, yeah. like, you know, you just have to kind of sort of move on. I'm sure that's not the exact word, but, yeah, that's like precisely it. keep moving it. forward, diba? Yeah, because diba you just have to put a deadline to it. Otherwise, it would be forever. You will never be satisfied you know, yep. I, I hope there is one day where I'm like, okay, this is it, you know. But until, you know, you're always, even when I watch it now, like, ah, I should have done this instead or maybe we could do it a different way. Pero hindi ka naman apologetic by saying, na, oh, panuwari mo to, pero ano, wag mo titignan itong part na to kasi itong part na to medyo may mali ako dito, ganyan, ganyan. You just keep it to yourself, right? Um... No, sometimes I'm very like open about my vulnerabilities when I tell them like this is my first official feature, so please don't judge, you know, based on don't, don't be so harsh or or just keep an open mind when you watch this film. Like g- try to give it a chance and not, because I know how critical I am of my own work. So maybe that also helps because whatever criticism I get from other people, it's like yeah, I've heard that, but worse from myself. Now guess what? Mm-hmm. Excited. As si Chloe rained on your parade. She was just being prag- <laughs> pragmatic she was about doing it. Her job. Would you doing her job? So I only come from being to being and then now the next step it has to be showcased. Yeah. So what were you like going into different festivals, knowing full well na oh shoot. Having technical errors, but then again, a technical error has nothing to do with the story. There, yeah, there yeah. are technical errors, but any emotion mo going through that? Ah, super mixed emotions. Tanda mo, wala pang award at this yeah. point. Huh? This is mm. zero award. Mm. So, uh, were you as excited as you thought you would be nung pinapasok mo na yung? The thing was, the very first festival where we premiered the film was at Hofer Film okay. Tag, and it was one of the most prestigious festivals in Germany. So, kumbaga parang Sundance nila right. dun yun. And alam mo na kagad yung mga um, pinoint out ni Chloe sa'yo. So, dalam yeah. na lang ngayon yun. Yeah, diba? so it was a mixture of like, oh, you know, like trepidation. Like, should I show this to these people <laughs> who, you know, who are used to watching like these these great films? Exactly. Like, because that that film festival, they discovered um, Vem Vendors, for example. Ooh. And and like the big, um, you know, the big yeah. director. So, to be just, you know, like, just part of something that was that big was like already you makasali ka na parang top board na for, for that <laughs> oh, moment oh so yeah. parang wow I, I, I'm even part of it so that w- there was excitement and thrill of it but at the same time yun nga na parang doubts also like am, you know am I worthy to even be part of this but just at the same time I was also happy because my the act some of my actors actually the the lead like Nyamandi this was his first film the one opposite oh. Carl uh, Yannick so so for me like for him to have that platform and that premiere was special to him and it was they give me the confidence now where was it the first time for Sinayanik to see the movie at this festival no they've seen it okay. already before because Yannick also sort of co-produced the film so what was his comment si Yannick si Yannick of course was like super he was he's always very happy and he's also super grateful that that was the reason that um, we became friends because we became friends almost yeah. practically yeah. family after, yeah, after that. working yes. together. So, you know, uh, he was very supportive because he's big. He doesn't even need additional kind of, um, what, what do you call this? Promotional or... Uh, kumbaga, kumbaga, this, this was a uh, labor of, parang passion din niya to, to do something and cross it out of his... Yeah, because he's a commer- he's yes. commercially successful. He does films for Paramount. He even does like you know some so he does sinabi. supporting film for like a, a Hollywood film. So, parang 
you know. Para mo sinabi sila aga mulak na ganun nag nag indie film para mm-hmm, ganun. Mm-hmm. So that's that's how that's how it felt like. Pero yun nga, there's also that pride in like hey, he believed in this project enough to want to be part of something that was right. you know, that was you know, below his pay grade. So, you know, so to speak. So ito na festival mm-hmm. na. Mm-hmm. Pinapalabas na. Naririnig mo na yung reaction ng audience sa uh, mm-hmm. What was going through your head and in your heart? Um, I was just, you know, nervous. And but I think when I came out, I think a lot of people were surprised. First of all, that it was written by a woman, and because it's about two adolescent men. men, and um, yeah, that it was. I was not German. I was Filipina. And so that's about what? Oh yeah, they were like, what? yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like you know, because some of them even cried on, yes. you know, in the film. So it, it resonated with them, and then for them to find out that it was a person that was not, you know, that that made the film touch them, it was, you know, it was very kind of fulfilling. So oh, yun, yun yung mga reactions that I mean, of course, there are also like yes. other, you know, negative reactions, but this reaction, like. These kinds of reactions are what makes everything worth it. Na yes. oh, I was able to break that barrier of, you know, like um, getting through people that are, you know, not our people, but you know, the, beyond borders. Beyond ginawa. borders. Yeah. Oh, and that was precisely the reason why I went into filmmaking in the first place to unite people through stor- storytelling and then kind of proving that despite all our differences that we are all essentially the same, yep. at least our emotional journeys. Yes. And so, and with that kind of reaction, it's, it's sort of like, kind of, you know, it, Galing. yeah. Y- yun. So, tapos, ayan na, did this win an award dito sa unang festival? It was a testament, yun, sorry. Um, for Hofer, they wanted to um, they wanted to um, nominate it actually, pero they asked me, is it a German production? And uh, that dun kami na disqualify because it was a Philippine yes. production. So ang dun kasi it's very yeah, it's it's, it's, a, it's a German a, festival. May standards din sila, di ba? They have mm. to follow the qualifications and all that stuff. Yeah, also. so yung I mean, of course, they, they they were happy that they got the world premiere of the film, but it couldn't have been nominated because they, you know, it was yeah. a German festival. Yes. They had to German. Uh, they they had to nominate uh, German produced films. Right. Mm-hmm. Pero positive, di ba? Promising yung ganon. Yeah. So finally, sinali mo na sa iba. Mm. When the first award came in, what was what was going through your head, Kenny Chloe? Sa yung muna. Um. Do you still remember that? Oh my God, which one was the first one? Uh, I don't know if it was uh, in Spain or in Vegas. You know, I think best director or best feature. So it was already the biggest award, yeah. and so I was like, "Yeah." I, I mean, I couldn't explain it. I was like, "Did they make a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> Did they just call out my name?" Yeah, so uh, yeah, it was like, but of course we were happy uh, that it was, you know, recognized at least because it was uh, it was a sentiment that was shared by not only those that were working in the film, but c- it was a multinational, yes. you know, so everyone that was represented representing the film also represented where they were from. So it was like a huge um, proud moment for all of us. Of course, and yeah. If, if if I may ask, is your mom and dad still around? My mom passed away. I'm sorry. Yeah, my dad, of course. Yeah, he's seen the film. Uh, but every time I make a film, like you know, you they see in the credits, like it's for Mama. So Aww. you know, I it, it's always dedicated to her because she was the first person that ever believed in me. Of course, like I was young, be like I want to be a writer, I want to be a director, and no one was like, eh, no, <laughs> that's not gonna happen, you know. But my mom was like, of course, no, you can do this. You know? Ga- gano ka gano ka importante yon yung yung pagbigay ng validation ng validation ng magulang sa anak. How how important I think was it, it for you? I think it was the most important, you know, opinion. I mean, she was the most important person, you know, back then. She still is, you know, it's very important. But at that time, you know, what she said was law. So <laughs> for me, so if she said something, if she supported me, Ooh. everything else was, you know, just Galeno. noise. 
you know. But if my mom said I could do this, I will do it, you know. Are you like that to Eon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes I, you know, because my dad was, you know, or you know, there. Oh, you like yeah, si like oh, oh, yeah. na parang okay. Let's also be practical, you know. <laughs> so, so both those voices kind of come out with Eon. Na parang no, I want you to pursue your passions, but let's try to do it in a logical way, you know. Like, Ganun ka? Mm-mm, let's let's try to also approach it in in a way that but makes sense. Direct. You were not logical at seventy. Yun nga eh. You were not logical <laughs> at uh, 15, uh, 31, mm. 32. Mm. Why? Why? Why the sudden? Was it? Is it maternal instinct that you're protective of your son? Of course, and no, but it was also tried and tested that sometimes if you find a way, <laughs> there is a way. So try lang Katero, to balance. Pero ba kung logical? <laughs> In a logical way. Hindi kasi syempre, you know. Um, it's a difficult industry to navigate also, <laughs> diba? So, Says you have to, to balance. <laughs> no, but if you follow your passions and you're good at it, which he is yes. naman, it will make sense. Ito you na, know? Ito it ito will ito. make sense and ito. it does make sense. Ito na yung hard question. Mm. Kung nilagyan mo ng logic yung 16, 17-year-old Diane, would you have moved forward as fast as you thought you would? Hmm. I think the conviction made it logical. <laughs> you know? Sobrang strong nung conviction eh, na parang... Okay. Anything is possible. Yeah. Oo, oh, oh, wala na. Yun na yung logic ko. Pero hindi mo naisip na ikaw lang nakakita nun. Because yung mga tao sa paligid mo... Mm. Um, ako lang ba... Oo oh, eh. Yung conviction lang talaga, feeling ko. Eh, so paano pag si Eon... Grabe may, ka-powerful eh. Yes, paano pag yung anak mo may conviction na taliwas sa conviction mo? I ah, know. I mean, I believe in I believe in him, and I believe he can achieve right. things because he's very, very he is. talented. Ve- I mean, very talented I am talaga. so proud. Yes. You know, I saw I saw him perform. Yeah, yeah. But let's see, he he gave us a direction. Na yung tatay niya or nanay niya hindi gagawin yung direction na yon. Hmm. Mm. Tanda mo na yari sa yun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Because the finish line mo is you're 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 self-made like your parents before you. But your kinuha mong journey is different from your parents before you. Yeah, and yeah. So I I guess like the most like you could do anyway as a parent is just to guide. Nakatakot, no? Oh oh, advice advice, but they also have like the prerogative. Except yung konyare brush your teeth or do these things. <laughs> Alam mo yun, fix your bed. Y- yun kailangan oh gawin. God. Kailangan lang talaga itrain. Pero in terms of like these. Big, baka kasi sabihin niya na parang yeah. pag narinig niya, no, that's not true. You tell me what to do. You right, know, right, right. Yeah, but those little things. Oh, you're pero training. When it comes to life decisions, that choosing who your partner is, choosing what kind of career to yes. take, choosing how to live your life, I give him that freedom to, I would want to give him that support. You know, whatever your definition of success is for you, Whatever that is, I will support it. And whatever your definition of that happiness is, I I will believe you. You know. Mm. Now, without really being very reflective, do you find yourself repeating yourself only being a better version of yourself, or do you find yourself reinventing yourself? Wow, galing naman ng question mo. Born <laughs> uh, out of the story that you told me, you know. Yeah, I guess both. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm quoting Wayne Dyer, but like Go. this, this, the, I, I heard this from one of his talks. Like I just heard it, and then I said, like, wow. He said, like, um, nobility is not being better than anyone else, but being better than who you used Ooh. to be. And I think you know, changing yourself you know like making yourself better is also in a way reinventing yourself because you're yes. not that person Anymore. that you were and i'm not saying i'm per- like i'm so not perfect like i've done fucked up things in my life Pero uh, you yung, yung admit no? mm-hmm. yeah just the acknowledgement okay. that you yeah para yung oh, 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 off oh, oh, oh. Para tayo nagbago? Oh. it's raising our hands and admitting that you fucked up, yeah, that you know. Fucked up, yeah. yeah, and uh, that's important, din kasi, just to let everyone know that there are second chances. You know, like some people can change, and I'd want to believe that because if I don't, then I'd be like, Ooh. yo, oh, fuck, it's hopeless, you yeah. know. Um, oh, na ka na. 
Oh, oh tapos na. Mm. Life is over because I did one bad thing yes. and it's all over. No, that's not how it should be. Because I gave myself a second chance. So should you. And so was should. It e- was it easy to forgive yourself? To give yourself a second chance? No, I'm still trying to. Like it's a it's a, it's a work in progress. You know, it's not like you've forgotten all the bad mm. things you've done, yeah. and it's not like every decision you make right now is also like. Right, you still make bro- you still make wrong decisions. Even now that you think you've become yeah. better, you realize like ah shit, I still <laughs> do. F- you know, you fall back. You know, but th- that's life. You just also hey, yung keep, ano, yung yeah. vulnerab- vulnerability. Mm-hmm. Do you? F- I are you? Because when remember when you were pregnant mm-hmm. and and struggling, you had to put up a front. Yeah. Kahit umiiyak ka na sa bahay o sa taxi o kung saan man, you had to be strong in front of other people. Do you find yourself having that facade still or are you more open to being vulnerable in front of people? Yun nga, it took a while to learn that vulnerability is strength. You know? And it's also... Say that again, please. <laughs> sa mga babaeng nakikinig at mga lalaki nakikinig. Yun, vulnerab- vulnerability, I think, is also strength. I, I agree. Yeah. I, I, and um, being able to acknowledge and admit that it's hard to do, but it's something that you have to do first before change can actually happen. Because that humility to admit to yourself that, hey, you're not fucking perfect. You're a... F- you know you fucked up you you were a loser so you know it, it's these things you have to have that before you could actually change because you cannot change if you resist acknowledging that you know yeah. you know uh, where does gratefulness play gratitude and apo- you know uh, sincere you know uh, being apologetic for the things that you've done you know being, si- being sorry and being mm. thankful these are like very important things that I'm still learning to this day, you know, like being grateful for the things that you have, you know, and because it's hard also in this business, you want to keep evolving yes, yes. and being better. So how do you become grateful when, when you notice the bad things? Like, okay, this could be better. Does that mean that I'm not, you know, does that mean I'm not grateful oh, for nga, this? No? Oh, di ba? No, but sometimes, how, yeah. yeah. How critical can you be to the point na makakalimutan mo na, na teka muna, I, I, I'm supposed to be grateful because I have a film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Diba? But how can you also better yourself if you're oh, not man. aware of like the mistakes and how you can improve? So may balance. May balance. Oh. Again, kailangan calibrate. Like do not forget, you know, like to be grateful pa rin for, you know, what you have while still simultaneously also kind of trying to achieve better. So now, at this point in your life, you're a mom. You're an award-winning director, and I'm very proud of you, by the Thank way. Thank you. <laughs> and the awards still keep coming in. And for all we know, si Eon is, you know, uh, I mean, destined to, to be great in the future, di ba? And si Ellie, who, who is your business partner, shout out to you, Mr. Ellie Buendia. I mean, he's doing good also, mm-hmm. health-wise, career-wise. Yeah. Diba? Parang, ano pa kailangan mo? Ano pang hinihingi mo? Mm-hmm. Oh, yun right? nga eh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I always have to remind myself, actually, you know, sometimes kasi you tend to be ambitious. I want to make this next film in this, or I want to make a next concert, like a bigger one. Pero, yeah, you just balance it with acknowledging, na, oh my God, I am already so lucky, you know, to even, you know, have all this and and I am I really am like if I don't achieve whatever there is I still hope that I do I'm not going to lie but you know I'm already grateful for for what I have and it can coexist yeah. it can coexist you can be grateful and you could keep that feeling while also still trying to you know like better yourself right? there's always room for improvement in yes. all aspects in all yes. departments of our life yeah Kaba, are you done with the whole settling down thing. Settling down. Um, like family. Um, should I say domestication? Maybe <laughs> not. But but you're you're all over the world, eh? Mm. Hindi, hindi nga kita nahuhuli minsan. Uh-oh. To the point ako na... Ako din. Hindi ba parang, magkaiba tayo ng time zone pa ako. Ah, okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga. But, but what's, what's in store for you? What's... what's 
what's in store for you in the in the next five years, ten years? In, in the next five years, yeah. I hope to find like, uh, kite headquarters, like somewhere where I feel you know. But right now, I don't think, uh, cause I've always been wanting this forever, you know. But then I'm traveling around, so I'm also learning that to be <laughs> grateful for this kind of lifestyle because yes. it allows me to spend time with my family here in America yes. because they're all spread out You're everywhere. You have, so you have siblings here and in the Philippines. And in the Philippines, you know, and I have friends in Europe also and work. So I, I just have to just be grateful that I have a life that allows me to have all those experiences, you know, without limitations, with that freedom. And um, yeah, I guess settling down and finding cheesy again it's in your heart you know it, it, it home is where your heart is so this is home there yes. is home hindi mo pwede sabihing cheesy kasi because it's true it's true and I, I nakikita namin sa'yo and sabi ko nga sa'yo yung you being you na inspire ako because it gives me hope for my daughter and I I, I bet yung mga women list, yung mga Cassidy. women listening and watching yeah si Cassidy <laughs> watching when they hear your story you know, it's okay to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Dads, don't be too hard on your daughters. Moms, don't be too hard on your daughters. Like, ano pa, validate your, your daughter that she can be destined for greatness. Yeah. Yeah. Following dreams. Yeah. Second yeah. chances. And dami. Yeah. Advice to our listeners who are on the fence and indecisive and feeling na wala silang ginawa kundi magbigay ng excuse. Ano advice mo sa mga taong katulad ni JJ? <laughs> Sabi ka na lang. <laughs> <laughs> Nanong akong bibigay ng advice kay JJ. Dapat si JJ magbigay ng advice sa akin. <laughs> Pero what advice, <laughs> what advice can you give people who are scared to follow their dreams? Um... Oh, Jake, what are You know? Go for it. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. The only thing stopping you is you. <laughs> wow. So, no, I mean, if I can do it, you know, I mean, sino ba ako? Alam mo yun, parang kahit nakayanan ko nga, minsan nga, parang, uy, nagawa ko yun, nakapunta akong Germany, tapos nagawa. Uh, parang, Everyone and anyone can. The only thing that differentiates us from the other maybe is like opportunity. But opportunity can be created. Amen. We are the creators of our destiny. And I, I hope more people believe in that, not just on a conceptual level, but like really feel it. Because once you do, once you tap into that resource or that like uh, thing in you that is in every one of us, you will find and and uh, you know you define your own success yes. whether you have like a hundred fans even one fan that's already successful diba? so like express yourself you know don't there are i mean i'm not saying like that there are no excuses but there are ways especially with the technology right now you can like do filming on your, you know, iPhone. On your iphone you know you can create stories you could collaborate with everyone you could find new talents and not necessarily have to look for already established ones so um and eventually, you know, if you're, you know, dedicated uh, to, you know, your passions and you find that voice that makes you original, that makes you unique, it is bound to find another soul that resonates with it. Because like I said, we're all connected. I don't know. So if whatever you feel so I personally, know. you know, I'm sure someone else in this world feels that too. So you, you can find, find yeah. yeah, you can find your niche, you can find your people. And yeah, it, it's just, yeah, the, the and don't compare your, you know, successes with those of other people. If I compare myself with David Fincher or <laughs> like, uh, Christopher Nolan, like, you know, I, I would just, I would stop doing things, you know. They're the kind of movies that when you watch, I don't want to be a director, anymore, <laughs> you know. Like, they're too good, you know. Like, who am I? But, you know, just, but the kind of movies or stories that I try to do and make are like those that resonate with me, with those that are personal to me, that, and that's uh, what sets it apart, I guess, from from the other. And you know, the point is to find other people that also feel alone, feel that they're they're the only ones going through these through this, uh, and then realizing like someone thought of that, so someone went through it too. You know, and but I'm not yeah. alone. You aren't. No one is. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Derek Maria Dayan Ventura. Galing! Galing! Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. You are really such fun. an inspiration. So are you guys. I am so happy to be here. Oh, di ba? Walang iya ako na mabiligyan mo ng <laughs> ng cup na papakita ko lang sa audience. Go for it. Oh. Ayan, Jay, pakita mo. Ayan, tingnan nyo naman po, audience, yung cup ni Derek. Di ba? Ang ganda, go for it. Tapos ang binigay sa akin, cup, lumang mati ni Idol na hindi na natin kilala kung sino yan, di ba? Lagi ya ka, Jill. The inspo cups. Anyway, shout out sa ating mga, oh, dami ah. Si Teddy, uh, si Carrie Mardo Domingo, uh, si Teddy ulit. Universality is what makes the movie so powerful. Thank you, Teddy, for watching it. Galeng. Amazing din talaga yung nuance, no? Tapos si Glenn. Glenn Celestial from, uh, Glenn. from Seattle. Hello, Glenn. Yeah. Oh my God, ang galeng. Yes. Okay na. Well, thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate you. And uh, I guess that's it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>